So if, if you look over there, you're speaking in the microphone. And if you look over there, you're speaking in the microphone. And if you're looking over here, you're speaking in the microphone. Okay. So you always stay about this and kind of project. And then maybe not super fast because it'll blur in here because it's okay. And then thank you.
comforts of a lie to ease the pain of not believing you deserve the crown.
All right, we'll be starting in a few minutes. Please grab your seats. We'll be starting in a few minutes. Thank you. Hello, hello, hello. If everybody can grab their seats, please. Good day. Good day and welcome family, friends, and chosen loved ones to the 56th annual Edmonds College Commencement Ceremony. Join me in welcoming 
Our campus administrators, led by Dr. Led by President Dr. Amit B. Singh, the Board of Trustees, the President's leadership team, and VIPs, followed by faculty, staff, and the Evans College Class of 2023.
We'll give folks a few moments to find their seats. Please stand as you are able for the national anthem performed by Evans College, College's own sound station. Please be seated. Welcome graduates, honored guests, board of trustees, faculty, staff, administrators, family, friends, and chosen loved ones to the Evans College commencement ceremony which closes the 2022-23 academic school year. My name is Min Carrico, and I'm a, faculty, I'm a faculty member for photography and visual communications at Edmonds College. I will be your host for today's ceremony, and I'm beyond thrilled to be here for our first in-person commencement ceremony since 2019. As with all college events, we begin with acknowledgments and rec reconditions. The first acknowledgement is that we occupy the ancestral lands of the Coast Salish people, in particular, Stohomish, Stuguamish, and Suquamish tribes. The main purpose of this land acknowledgement is to recognize tri tribal sovereignty and stewardship of the land which our campus sits. Now at this time, I would like to introduce the Board of Trustees members who are in attendance. This board is unique. We are just one of two SBCTC colleges in Washington that has a student trustee. Please hold your applause until they are all standing. Board Chair, Adrian Wagner. Trustee, Wally, Web Wally Webster. Trustee, Carl Zipporah. And trustee and student trustee Shin Hei Wang. Thank you. Now, members of the president's leadership team, please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Please be seated. We, we also would like to re acknowledge the representatives from the Faculty Senate, Faculty Union, Staff Union, and the Associated Students of Edmonds College. Please stand and be recognized. Thank you. 
I, will also, I would also like to recognize some special guests in the audience. Rosario Reyes from the Latino Educational Training Institute and members of the Evans College Foundation. Please stand so we can recognize you. Oh, and Dr. Stephen Woodward. Thank you all for attending. If you're an active member of the military or a veteran, please stand so we can acknowledge you. Thank you for your service. And a special thanks goes to the family, friends, and chosen loved ones who are here for our graduates on this auspicious occasion. Thank you for your support of your graduates. And lastly, I would like to personally thank Scott Haddock, the president of the faculty union, for inviting me to host today's commencement ceremony. Thank you, Scott. <clears throat> That is a lot of thank yous. <laughs> a couple of house cleaning items before we begin today's commencement ceremony. Restrooms are located through the main entrance as you walk into the building. If you have any questions, please locate one of our ushers. Ushers, please raise your hands. Today's ceremony is streaming live and the commencement program is available on the college website. Go to edmunds.edu forward slash commencement. Also, family, friends, and chosen loved ones in the audience, we know you are super excited for your graduate, though we ask you not to come down to the stage to take photos. All of our graduates will have their photos professionally taken by grandimages.com. The link for Grand Images will be posted on the college commencement website following today's ceremony. Thank you. Standing here today, I had the honor to witness this beautiful scene before my eyes. We all collectively wondered, not if, but when we will return to a sense of normalcy since the start of the pandemic. And I'm very happy to say today is that day. Today's ceremony not only marks an academic milestone for our, our graduating students, this ceremony signifies each student's commitment to education through the most challenging time in our collective history. Speaking on behalf of my fellow educators, thank you for choosing us to be part of your educational journey and allowing us to shape your career path. We enjoyed having you in our classes and our reward is seeing you here today. Congratulations to each of you for achieving your certificate and or degree. As, we move, as you move forward in the new chapter of your life, take a moment to let us know how you're doing from time to time. We love hearing from our alumni. At this time, I would like to introduce you to the president of Evans College, Dr. Amit B. Singh. Thank you. Welcome to Edmonds College's 56th annual commencement ceremony. I'm delighted that we are able to be with each other today. But first, let me thank the many volunteers who worked tirelessly to ensure we have an enjoyable ceremony, including Dr. De La Torres for your, your leadership uh, leading this event. Thank you. I'd also like to thank our, bo uh, our board of trustees, faculty, and staff. Your ongoing support plays a vital role in student success. The quality of graduates is also a reflection of quality of faculty and staff. So thank you. And family and friends, thank you for joining us as we celebrate your loved ones today. In this room, there are many graduates who overcome so much 
to be here. Each of your journeys has been unique, but one common thread is that you have persevered through a pandemic that shattered normalcy in our world. As I look, you, look at you today, I'm confident that better days are ahead. Many of you began your journey at Edmonds remotely. Some of you may have only been on campus a handful of times. Through your resilience and adaptability, you were able to navigate the challenges of separation and sometimes isolation from family, friends, classmates, and faculty to make it here today. You are to be commended for pushing through one of the most unique times in our history to be standing here and about to be recognized for your achievement. Now that you have reached this point in your life, there's no looking back. Forward is where your future lies. As Ralph Waller Emerson said, what lies behind us and what lies before us are small matters compared to what lies within us. It is your time to combine your past experience and future goals and transform them into actions. I believe each of you has the drive and know-how inside each, inside to reach whatever summit you set your sights on. You have already proven that no change is too big for you, no obstacle too daunting. I say, strive to create dust. Step up out of your comfort zone and stretch the boundaries of your capabilities. Be a champion of inclusion. Speak out in support of others. Be a leader with integrity and grit. Make a difference in your community. Make a difference for your family. I believe if you follow these principles and kindness, with kindness, compassion, and respect for others, not only you will leave mark on the world, you will build a legacy that you can be proud of. In our audience, we have immigrants and refugees who have been forced out from their homeland. We have some who have overcome addiction, homelessness, and incarceration. We have some who have navigated college despite not knowing where the next meal might come from. We are humble, inspired by what you have overcome. Edmonds College graduates of 2023, congratulations on reaching this day. It is now your time to make your mark on this world. Thank you. I'm sorry, missed something. Now it's my pleasure to introduce Edmonds College Student Government Executive Officer for Administration, Van Ng. Thank you, Dr. Singh. Trends, welcome and congratulations. My name is Van Ng, and I am here on the behalf of the Associate Students of Edmonds College. Parents and distinguished guests, today is the day that Tritons have been dreaming of completing their dreams, whether to continue with a four-year degree elsewhere, enhance their career path, or earn a certificate. Regardless of what it is, take a moment to look at your loved ones and say, you made it. Coming to serve as the executive officer of administration, I saw countless students from traditional to non-traditional at center student engagement and leadership doorsteps, from teens with ambitious dreams to a mother of four. 
I recently had a conversation with an er elderly woman whose dream is to become a sculptor. And I will say what she said word for word. I want to thank Admins for making me a better version of myself and transforming my life. I am now completing my dream at the age of 67. I will end my speech with a quote from Jim Carrey. You can spend your whole life imagining goats, worrying about the pathway to take future, but all there will ever be is what's happening here. And the decisions we make in this moment, which are based in either love or fear. Once again, congratulations, Trends class of 2023. You will soar high. Now, please welcome the Vice President for Student Services, Dr. Christina Hart. Thank you, Van. Good afternoon. It is my privilege and honor to introduce our student speakers today. Our first student speaker is Abile Dospayev. Abile was born in Almaty, Kazakhstan. He joined Edmonds College in September of 2022 to pursue an associate degree in computer science. Two major factors for his decision to attend Edmonds is our commitment to diversity and our support for international students. Abelay believes being exposed to different cultures, perspectives, and backgrounds has not only helped broaden his horizons, but has taught him how to work with others. An active member of the college community, Abelay joined the robotics, chess, and flyers clubs here, all of which have pushed him to network with others to learn new technologies and propelled him towards a career in science. Please join me in welcoming Abile to the stage. Hey, how's it going everyone? Class 2023, make some noise. Good afternoon, distinguished guests, faculty members, proud families, and fellow graduate students. I hope you all managed to find a parking spot today. <laughs> it, is, it is with great honor and privilege that I stand before you on this special day. Thank you for being here to celebrate this important milestone with us. Today, I want to express my gratitude to the faculty of Edmonds College. I want to thank them for sharing their knowledge and expertise with us guiding us through the educational endeavors. I'm also immensely grateful for the staff of Edmonds College, the student government, Cecil office, the president of the college, the counseling center, and all other departments and offices that have played a vital part in our growth and success. Without their guidance, support, and unwavering commitment to our education, this day would not have been possible. I want to say thank you to them for putting up with us all these two years and helping us to become better every day. I know it wasn't easy. Reflecting on this journey, one quote has resonated with me. I am success today because I had a friend who believed in me and I didn't have a heart to let them down, by Abraham Lincoln. I believe each one of us had one person or group of people who we didn't want to let down. For me, it was my family, my friends, especially my best friend, Simeon, and girlfriend. My family and I came here two years ago, and for the first four months, the four of us, we lived in a small garage. I learned a lot of new things about my family living with them in a tight space. So if you have always wanted to improve your relationship with your family, it's a, it's a best practice, 100%. <laughs> when it was hard, I wanted to quit, and I always remembered how much my parents sacrificed for me and for my little sister to study here. So I kept pushing and trying to be the best version of myself. 
Edmonds College will always hold a special place in my heart. It was within these walls that I underwent a transformation from a clueless adult, oh no, from a clueless teenager <laughs> to a clueless young adult, <laughs> but with a clear educational and uh, career path in mind. Uh, I think everyone can relate to this experience, at least I can. I recall these memories with nostalgia. After long classes, me and my friends visiting the food pantry or game room, stroll through campus and engage in lively conversations about our classes or our future. I also remember the challenging times when I failed one of my math classes. I hope the professor of math class is here right now. Uh, or when I was sitting on a wait list and asking professors to take me on the class. I hope they're all here today. Uh, I also remember times when I was forgetting my CTC link ID or my password and I, wouldn't, I couldn't uh, access my canvas or my CTC link or trying to find a parking spot on Mondays. It was hard. And who can forget the quest to find a free study room in a library or countless nights spent studying to prepare for finals? And let's not forget the time we spent in the advising office strategizing our academic moves like a skilled chess players. This memory is both joyful and challenging, has shaped us into individuals we are today. Time passes swiftly, and before we know, sorry about that, we'll be looking back at these very moments with smile and a sense of nostalgia, cherishing the memories we have created together. They serve us as a reminder to appreciate people around us and the present moment. Instead of solely focusing on the future goals, we must learn to find the joy and journey and be grateful for the opportunities and experiences that come our way. As we move forward, let us remember that our journey does not end here. It's only the beginning of a new adventure filled with endless possibilities and opportunities. Congratulations, class of 2023. May your future will be filled with success, happiness, and fulfillment. And one thing I want to say, my little sister asked me to do it. Muchas gracias, Vesely. Sí. Thank you. Thank you, Abile. Our next student speaker is Emily K. Hall. Emily grew up in Utah before moving to Washington in 2018. Seeking an educational foundation and a like-minded, driven community, Emily became a non-traditional student at Edmonds College in 2019. The horticulture department captured her interest, leading her to various roles as the campus farm coordinator, co-leading the bee club, and completing a 300-hour American Corps volunteer service. She has received scholarships from the Washington State Nursery and Landscape Association and the Emmons College Foundation via the Lakeshore Garden Club. Moreover, she was part of the 2022 Phi Theta Kappa all Washington academic team. And she received the President's Student Civic Leadership Award last year. Please join me in welcoming Emily to the stage. Good afternoon, esteemed guests, faculty members, friends, family, and my fellow graduates. I stand before you today filled with excitement and gratitude, thankful for the opportunity to be here on campus for this momentous occasion. I want to extend my heartfelt appreciation to Edmonds College, its remarkable faculty members, and the dedicated staff who have played an integral role in our growth and success. Additionally, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge all the individuals who have supported us throughout our journey. Our family, our friends, our fellow classmates, and our coworkers even, and all of the people who have believed in us and lended their support. I would like to take the moment, take the opportunity for a moment of silence to remember those of us who are no longer with us, but are with us in spirit today, silently celebrating us.
Thank you. In the words of the Olympic diver, Greg Luganis, I am a firm believer that you don't achieve greatness on your own. There is always someone there to lend a hand. That is a big lesson I have learned in my time here, that there are always people willing to help if we have the courage to ask. I would like to acknowledge that everyone here has a story and a journey that not everyone may know about. We have all struggled at times, from cramming for exams to our lives outside of school. We have had to create our own balance between responsibilities, and we did all of this through a global pandemic. It has not been easy, to say the least. However, despite all of the challenges we faced, we did it. We persevered, and we made it to the other side. Albert Einstein said, persistence is the most powerful force on Earth. It can move mountains. And looking at all of you today, I know that there will be plenty of mountains moving. The path that has brought me here today hasn't always been smooth, as I'm sure many of you can relate. Losing my mother at a young age and my father when I turned 20 presented considerable challenges. Growing up under such circumstances was undeniably difficult, but it instilled in me the importance of self-honor, self-advocacy, and unwavering pursuit of my passions. These values led me to Edmonds College and ultimately the horticulture program. I recognized the need to establish a solid foundation upon which I could build my life. The famous blues singer B.B. King once remarked, the beautiful thing about learning is that no one can take it away from you. We have all been busy laying the groundwork of knowledge that will remain with us and continue to flourish. I am thrilled to announce that throughout my educational journey, I have not only discovered my passion, but also encountered remarkable people who inspired me. The campus farm became my sanctuary where I found solace in growing food for others. When I was invited to a summer term with AmeriCorps at the campus food pantry, I was excited to see the distribution side of our food systems. There, I was able to connect with community members involved with food distribution resources in our area, and I learned more about the food insecurity issues our students face. After being in the food pantry, I realized the largest change I could enact would be going back to the farm to grow even more food that would be given directly back to our students. One of the largest contributors in our food systems that can go unnoticed are the humble honeybees. I had the honor of becoming the bee club president and learning to be a beekeeper. Our buzzing beehives filled me with exhilaration and vitality. I learned how to extract honey, create secondary goods with the beeswax, and capture honeybee swarms. Alongside my work experiences, I was able to have hands-on classroom experience with horticulture. I remember my first time in the horticulture greenhouse. Our greenhouse manager, Linda Ticoli, had made a spread of coffee and pastries. We enjoyed treats while we talked about our favorite plants. In that moment, surrounded by my fellow peers, I felt like I had found my community. In my plant identification classes, we had the opportunity to explore the many gorgeous botanical gardens in the Pacific Northwest. The greenhouse and classrooms have provided me with valuable friendship. Amidst this incredible expedition, I firmly believe that I have discovered my true self. As Dr. Seuss stated, today you are you, that is truer than true. There is no one alive who is youer than you. Our real strength stems from embracing our authentic selves without apologies. As my journey ends at Edmonds College, I am looking forward to continue learning about horticulture and becoming a botanist. Today marks a significant moment in our lives, a moment that deserves to be celebrated. As we stand here today, surrounded by the joy and anticipation of this occasion, let us take a moment to appreciate the magnitude of this achievement. Today, we not only celebrate the years of hard work and dedication that have brought us to this point, but also the friendships formed, the lessons learned, and the personal growth that we have experienced along the way. In closing, I am filled with immense pride and admiration for each and every one of you. Cherish the relationships you have formed, seek wisdom from those who came before you, and never lose sight of the power of kindness, empathy, and compassion. Together, we will embark on this next chapter with a steadfast belief in our potential to make a difference. I would like to send you off with some words from Tom Hanks. The future is always uncertain, but we who celebrate what you have done, who celebrate all of your achievements, we are certain of one thing on this day. You will not let us down. Congratulations, class of 2023. Thank you.
Thank you, Emily and Epile. Graduates, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Please join me in welcoming to the podium Vice President for Instruction, Kim Chapman. Thank you. Okay, let's get to why we're all here. Are we ready? Are we ready? Yes. <laughs> Graduates of Edmonds College Class of 2023, please rise as you are able. President Singh, please step forward. President's leadership team, board of trustee members, VPIs, please stand. President Singh, on behalf of the faculty of Edmonds College, I declare that the graduating students standing before you have satisfactorily completed the requirements for the programs in which they are enrolled. I now have the honor and privilege of presenting candidates receiving BAS degrees, associate degrees, professional technical degrees and certificates, high school diplomas, and general education development diplomas. Thank you, Vice President Kim Chapman. By the, power of the, by the power that has been vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Edmonds College, and upon your recommendation and that of the faculty, it is my pleasure to confer diplomas, certificates, and degrees to graduating class of 2023. President Singh. President Singh, I'm proud to present to you the graduates of Edmonds College, Class of 2023. <laughs> Stage party and graduates, please be seated. Graduates, it's time to receive your diploma covers. The first group... Oh. <laughs> Family and friends, please remain seated. Oh, I'm sorry. Graduates, please remain seated until directed by ushers who will lead you to the Grad Images photo station and then to the stage to get your diploma. As a reminder, family and friends in the stands, we ask you not to come down to the floor to take photos. All graduates will have their photos professionally taken with the link to be posted on the college commencement website along with a commencement video. In addition, we are going to host a reception after the ceremony where you can take photos of your graduates there. Thank you. We will now recognize candidates receiving associate's degrees, professional technical degrees, high school diplomas, and general education development diplomas. Once again, graduates, please follow the directions of the ushers who will lead you to the Grad Images photo station and then to the stage to get your diploma cover. Our first graduate is Vencias Alves Carmucho. Ruby Hayden. Jared Gallagher. Edgar Martinez. Irena Blues.
Dat Newing. Parisa Pakezema. <laughs> Melody Angeli. <laughs> Claudia Rodriguez. Rochelle Ramos Shantarongsi. <laughs> Fatima Mohammed Kamel. Fawn Dunbar. Kim Luan. <laughs> Abele Despeyev. <laughs> Priscilla Honey. <laughs> Angie Vineyard. Eileen McCory. <laughs> Nayira Ali. <laughs> Boris Kuti. Mariana Fofana. <laughs> Irene Perez. <laughs> Mary Dunser. Young. Amanda Marie Warren. Emily Hall. Elena Bagirantz. Sarah Gust. Stephanie Segura Gonzalez. Jacob Siren. Noral Huda Bengdawi. <laughs> Madeline Hawks. <laughs> Natasha Forsen. Yalisabetta Benenda. <laughs> Zahara Amayahi. Thank you. Wait, not yet. 
Maho Shimo Hira. Oh, wait a second. Cosmo Andaloro. Ari Kokonoski. Mohammed Afiz. Michael Ray. Justin Lapion. Andy Ray. Daryl Benedictus. Adriel Isaac Lopez. Yes. Stephen Hidayat. <laughs> Sarah Trin. Ramida Promdi. <laughs> Gilberto Martinez Camacho. <laughs> Alice Ponimon. <laughs> Matthew Del Prado. Kokomi Mott. Eduardo David Aragon Martinez. Kiana Pham. Yahia. Thank you. Azir. Maryam, Maryama Berry. Jackson McCormick. Ifunana Jubio. Sarah Cobway. Mary Nagai. Victoria Prom. <laughs> Leone Baker. Adela Mihaya Sierra. Joel Salvador Jimenez. Cameron Summers. Woo! 
Naomi Solomesh. <laughs> Muhammad Ramley. Aziza Mendez. Jonathan Wilson. Chloe Cordery. Brittany Van Stel. Amanda Almeida. Zara Kaden. Patricia Yoplo. Francisco Kemp. Doji Asilla. <laughs> Nayeli Santi Bandes. <laughs> Ryan Meyer. Normarelli Magla Serrano. Christina Hoover. Rosa Ortiz. Angel Bokelman. Sarah, Sarah, I'll do five. Nathan Sins. Two Trung. Sarine Chalo. <laughs> Laura Garcia. <laughs> Jessica Lopez Montalvo. Norma Ramirez Lopez. <laughs> Leslie Rios. <laughs> Jessica Contreras Gudenez. <laughs> Frejiot. Noon. <laughs> Fausto Cleros. <laughs> Solali Bapachan. <laughs> Felipe Cornejo. Alicia Torres.
Griselda Estrada. Anna Artemonova. Francisco Camacho. Alexis Williams. Melina Castrita. Miriam Johannes. Noah Hansen. Josh Curry. Marissa Garcia Reyes. Soleim Rizvi. <laughs> Franny Kala Kaluna. <laughs> Jacqueline Gilbert. <laughs> Rita Madi. Tuba Maktari. <laughs> Selena Breeson. <laughs> Beya Aguirre. <laughs> Alvin Sue. Carol McKinnon. <laughs> Sayan Park. <laughs> Katrina Suherman. <laughs> Nicholas Anderson. Karina Suherman. Kute Ogane. Rekha Nawasu. Juliana Nasamento. Mia McLean. Kang Fan. Samantha Porter. Fawn Lay. Lindsay Muhalan. <laughs> Ang No. <laughs> Justin Kumar. <laughs> Eric Cove.
Nor Otherwoody. Sandra Cove. Sahar Karim. Rexel Kurniyawan. Mariana Sanchez. Hold on a second. Okay. Ridey Milana. Ketia Nandune. Oh, okay. Ahmed Halal Abed. At 74 years young, Ricky Reeves. Ben Roche. <laughs> Scott Sparling. Congratulations. Larina Alvarado. Charles Klein. Jillian Woods. Miriam Drame. Michaela Pristel. Jenda Larson. Saima Leah Shaw. Carolyn Christopher Chen. Fatima Goombach. Theodora Benko. Israel Scott Rayam. Maricela Satiawan. Kimberly Barando. And finally, Albert Law.
Graduates, please rise if you're able. One more time, one last time. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now begin the tradition of the turning of the tassel. This act represents one's transition from candidate to graduate. Graduates, if you would, please take your tassel and move it to the left side of your motherboard. It is, it is my honor and privilege to be the first one to congratulate you on this incredible achievement. Friends and family members, please join me in a round of applause as I present to you 2023 graduating class of Edmonds College. Thank you. Before we finish today, I'd like to do one more thing for fun. Yeah, please be seated. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks for the clue, Dr. Dilatori. So one more thing. Look inside the cover of your diploma, inside the back cover. One of you has a star that looks like this. Oh, come on, come on, come on over. I, I, I know you're cheering on. I know you're cheering on, but why? <laughs> what did he, what did he do? He just won an iPad. All right. That was fun or what? Thank you. Thank you to our graduates and to friends and family for joining us today. Commencement will conclude with the recessment, recessional. Audience members and guests, please remain in your, in your seats until the graduates and faculty have left the gymnasium. Graduates, remain seated until queued to stand. Afterwards, graduates and guests may proceed to our beautiful new Hazel Miller building for a brief reception. I'll meet you there as well. We also have some food trucks, cupcakes made by our own culinary department and a freshman there. Thank you for coming and one more time, congratulations.